Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you a quick tip and that is how to utilize this XY parameter which is present on any VSTI or VST that you put into Ableton Live. And essentially what it is is it allows you to control two parameters or up to two. You can control just one if you want. Um, at the same time, just using this floating ball in the window down here. So I just got a reverb on here right now, uh, the TSAR-1 by Softube, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And when I'm adjusting a reverb, I really like to be able to adjust two parameters at the same time, and that is the reverb tail time and the dry wet mix, because uh, I find it's just easier and quicker to dial in to where I want to go instead of adjusting the, the mix and then adjusting the tail and then bouncing back and forth. If I have them both on this little dot down here and just move them around real quickly, things just work quicker and better. So it's really easy to set it up. You just come down to these drop down menus here and go to reverb time and reverb mix. And now you can see as I'm moving this dot, the graphics are moving for the time and for the mix. Great. So let's try to dial it in real quick to see how it works. I'm feeling like I owe you something. 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 Cool. So let's say we want to do something like that to an instrument, like Massive. So I'm going to go into Plugins, come up to Massive and drop it on. And when you drop a large VST or large VSTI onto the track, there isn't going to be any adjustable parameters in these drop down menus because it's just too big. The list would be quite large, but that doesn't mean we can't do that. So what we could do is open up Massive and click this little arrow right here, which will allow us to configure what is available inside of these pull down menus. So if I hit configure and let me actually come out and put a reverb on here real quick. And if I hit configure now and I click that dry wet and click the size, and then come back down here and exit out of configure, I can now add those two parameters to the XY the same way I did for that soft tube reverb. I now have control over Massive's reverb on the XY controller here right inside of Live. And that can also be really handy if you don't want to open up the VSTI every time you want to adjust something. And let's say something like reverb where you are constantly adjusting and finicking with it until it's perfect. It's a perfect thing to have right there on that XY controller. And obviously if you want to like add more like the delay and maybe something else, you can add that right to the list. And then you can just flip through the drop down menus here without having to worry about opening up the VSTI every time. But anyway, that's just a quick tip. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.